Okay. First of all, let's just get into our body. So for some of you, you might be sitting. I'm sitting because I'm near a keyboard. But if you can, I'm just going to get up. If you can, stand up. That really helps because you're going to be able to activate your respiratory system as well. So as singing, we're considered actors. So let's just get the body going and just wake up the body first with some gentle stretches. And imagine you're climbing a ladder, everybody. So I want you to go up the rung. We're going to open up your intercostal muscles. So let's stretch up the ladder eight times. Two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's the Jane Fonda workout at the same time. Okay, and we're gonna roll their shoulders back a little bit and do some gentle rotations of the neck. So the exercises I'm working with you today are considered legit. Legit is a term used to identify in the more classical sense. Now, I'm a, I'm a classical singer myself, but my studio is a hybrid, singer, a hybrid studio. So I do work in musical theater and contemporary as well. But today, these exercises are legit, so you'll hear these a lot in choir. Okay, so now that we've been waking up the body, I do encourage you to keep moving your body as we sing, because sometimes our body locks. So if you feel stuck in your body, just move it, yes? Okay, let's do some soft palate awareness. So I'm going to get you to yawn. So you're gonna, as you yawn, we're feeling the breath off the soft palate or the vellum. That's way in the back of the throat. So let's do another yawn again. Oh, you can feel the air moving off the soft palate. And once again, feel the ribs open. Oh, fantastic. And I want you to snort like a pig. Again, you're gonna feel that soft bellow moving. You're gonna feel the air moving. And once again, I said singing is beautiful, but it can be also ugly as well. But we can find beautiful sound with those ugly sounds. Good. And I want you to imagine you're gonna sneeze. Oh, there. So now we've just got some soft palate awareness. We've got a tall pharyngeal wall. So now we're going to move forward with just some noise. We're just going to wake up the voice by moving the voice, uh, moving the, the, the vocal folds. We're going to stretch the vocal folds. And I want you to chew off your front of your face like you're chewing off something off the front of your teeth and make some noise like this. And I want you to play with the levels at home. Play with the low and the high. So we're feeling that phonation in the front. Mm -hmm. You can feel the resonance in the head as well. Mm -hmm. So now that we're getting that moving, let's get our respiratory muscles moving as well. So I'm going to ask you to do a hum like this. And we're going to glide on a hum from your lowest to your highest to your lowest. So I'll just show you. So if you're a male identifying singer, it'll be very low, but for female, so we're going to try that, everybody. We're going to do that three times, and you will take a breath in between. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, so what we're doing is we're getting the thin edges of your vocal folds adducting. They're vibrating now. So let's do the same thing, but on the lip trill. So if you're okay with the lip trill, you're okay with the little bit of spray. We're all at home. We're not going to share it with anybody. So do the same thing on a lip trill like this. Here we go. Three times. And. Fantastic. We'll do the same thing, but on a buzz like this. Zzz, so showing our teeth. And just to make sure when you take a breath, feel open here in your rib cage. Ready? From your low to high to low. Go. Zzz. Show those teeth. Zzz. Good. Now we've got the respiratory muscles going and we've got your vocal folds adapting. Great. Now we're going to move on to an a two octave glide. <laughs> or one octave glide, I would say two octave, one octave glide, and we're going to use an ooh vowel. So we're going to glide like this. So if you're a male identifying voice, you'll be down here. For the ladies, here. So here's what we're going to do. Gliding. Ooh. So now we're just giving the vocal folds a little bit of stretch. We're activating the muscles around it. Here we go. We're going to work our way up the register. Ready? Go. Ooh, really hooty. Ooh, nice looking breath. Ooh, nice tall yawn. Ooh, feel tall and long with your knee. Getting those 
was uh, the maximum stretch of a vocal fold. I could have gotten higher, but another day. Good. So now let's move forward. We're going to do some arpeggios. So arpeggios are um, chord-like. So we're moving up and down the scale. And we're going to just sing a nice legato ooh, like this. I'll start a little lower. So again, I'm still opening up your registers. So we'll sing together like this. Ooh, on one breath, and I want you to feel really hooty. So again, these are legit exercises. I'm not using my the weight of my chest. I'm not in a ooh, ooh, it feels very heady. And we're gonna work our way up. Here we go, everybody. Ready? Go. Ooh, lots of space. So let's just see what's going on. Oh, there we go. Were we frozen, everybody, with the hands up? Yes, it was. Okay, I am so sorry. That was not me, obviously. <laughs> let's try it again. So we'll restart, starting down here. So like I said, think very hooty. Think of a nice tall yawn. Whenever you take your breath, everybody, I want you to inhale as if you're oh, really relaxed. We get that nice pharyngeal wall. Here we go. And... Let's move down the register. So I'm going to use uh, an articulatory exercise, and we're going to use the word mini, and we're going to say that over, mini, 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 mini. And the exercise goes like this. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down into your lower register. So we're moving from our head voice, or that's cricothyroid dominant, to our chest voice, which is TA dominant, thyroretinoid uh, dominant. So when I'm using that terminolo terminology, the thyroretinoid muscle thickens, is a thickening of the vocal folds, which gives you that lower chest resonance. Whereas in the CT, the cricothyroid muscle, is the lengthening of the vocal folds, which gives you the higher pitch. So we're gonna move down. So you could probably maybe feel the thickening of the vocal folds as we move down. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to start here, and you're going to sing this. Mini, 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 essentially. So we're starting in our head voice. We're going to work into our mix and into our chest. Here we go. Mini, For the male horse. 
Mini, 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 mini. If it's too low, just drop out. Mini, 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 mini. One more. Mini, 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 mini. If you're the male voice, you'll be down there. Okay, so now that we've woken up the lower part of the register, now let's just do some vowel uh, formation. And I'm going to use the vowels E, A, O, A, U. And by the way, as my way of saying thank you for joining, if you found this, uh, if you found out about this session on my Facebook page, just send me another message and I will send you a free copy of a, um, an exercise sheet, which is called the 20 minute legit vocal warm up exercises. And I'll send that to you for free. So just message me in Facebook on the Facebook messenger and I'll send that to you. And you'll have that as your, as your copy is my way of saying thank you. Okay. So now we're going to sing ki e o a u or e a o a u and we're going to work our way up. So this is the vowel formation. For the students of my studio, you'll know this one already. E -A -O -E -A -O -A now your goal is to keep this nice tall Beyond in the back of your throat here. So we're not going for a really wide space again. I'm going with the legit sound. So feel very spacious. Let's try that together. Ready? Go. here we're going to open up the register and we're going to say the sentence i love to sing why not it makes it easier so we're going to open up the top of your register we're going to do an octave leap and we're working our way down but i'm going to start you a little lower i'm going to start you in your ta muscle so your chest voice male identifying would already be in their chest voice female identifying we start in the chest we're going to work with your head voice through the mix into the chest and you're going to sing this I love to sing. I love to sing. Right. So you're going to sing that really legato. Legato means connected. So smoothly as you can. So take a good breath. You know that high note is coming. So when you take your breath, I want you to breathe for this note, not this one. So when I tell my students, you know it's coming. Oh, think of that prion sensation. Make a space. Make a tall fringe wall for the upper note. There we go. I love sure goes by fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a cool down. So when we're singing a lot, and if you're singing any gigs, your church gig, your choral gig, if you're singing a recital, whatever it is, after you've been singing, make sure you do a cool down. 
So I tell my students, <clears throat> the easiest way to do that is through a hum or a hung, or if you have access to a straw, yes, it's plastic, sorry, but I did have it at home, or if you have a metal straw, a small diameter straw is better, especially for the female identifying because it kind of mimics the size, not literally, but the size of the female larynx, whereas in men might use a bigger diameter of a straw. So what we're gonna do for a cool down is a hum like this. You're gonna glide from your middle to your lower register like this. Hmm, like you're wondering about something. Hmm, hmm, let's do that together. Hmm, hmm. Now you don't necessarily need to use your chin, believe it or not. This doesn't make it, make it glide. And it's actually just the sound. Yeah, because sometimes I know I'm watching people, they're like doing this. And actually this is just your body saying, I'm helping. You just say, no, I don't need your help. Hmm, let's try it. Try it on a hung, NG like this. Hong, hong, hong. And if you have access to a straw, we'll use a semi occluded vocal track like this. But you can get the same effect with. So, and somebody just entered the room. <laughs> just when we were wrapping up, darn it. All right. So with that, I would like to thank all of you for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. I hope you were able to release some endorphins. If you have any questions about any of the exercises I did today, or if you have any um, maybe requests about specific vocal exercises you'd like to work on that address a certain issue, just send me a message at thesharkyvoicestudio.com. Uh, that's my website or the Sharky Voice to you uh, in my Facebook page. And um, if there was anything else I needed to add, no, that was it. So thank you so much, everybody. Oh, that's what I need to add. This is the second last session. So next Saturday at 3 p.m. will be the final session. I've been doing this now for about eight or nine weeks. I'm going to take a break. So uh, summer is coming. But we're going to have one more session. So please join me. The password is still the same. Okay, the link is still the same. 3 p.m. That's Mountain Daylight Time. And I'd love to see you all again. Please share it with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me. And what I'm going to ask is I'm going to ask you to unmute your mics, if you would please. And maybe we could just say a farewell because it's kind of cool to hear everybody's voices. So if you can unmute your mics and we'll say goodbye and I'll see you next week. Thank bye. you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Bye. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks, Clay. I know you just joined in. Thank you, everybody, and take care. Have yourself a lovely day. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.